Imagine being in the area that appears haunting and desolate. Buildings are degraded to bare frames, with blackened structures reaching upwards, and the ground is covered in ash and wreckage. The air carries a strong, unpleasant smell of burnt materials and the distinctive scent of white phosphorus. Thick smoke fills the air, making visibility difficult, and everything looks grim and unsettling. This is what areas affected by white phosphorus bombs look like. In a world already torn by conflict and division, the use of white phosphorus bombs has once again made headlines, this time in Gaza. These highly controversial incendiary weapons have long been a source of international concern. But what makes white phosphorus bombs so dangerous? And why does their deployment stir a huge debate? Stay tuned as we explore answers to these questions. White phosphorus bomb has a historical presence dating back to the 19th century, when it was used by Fenian arsonists in a formulation known as Fenian fire. During World War I and World War II, white phosphorus bombs were employed extensively by various military forces, including the British Army, American, and Japanese forces. They were used for smoke screens and anti-personnel purposes, causing severe burns and casualties. In the post-war years, white phosphorus bombs continued to be deployed in later conflicts, including the Vietnam War, the First and Second Chechen Wars, and the Falklands War, demonstrating their enduring notoriety throughout history. But what are white phosphorus bombs actually? White phosphorus bomb is a highly dangerous substance that resembles wax and ignites upon exposure to atmospheric oxygen, producing extremely high temperatures exceeding 800 degrees Celsius, which is sufficient to melt metal. White phosphorus bombs serve multiple purposes, including signaling, obscuring visibility, or marking targets. It is widely used by militaries to create smoke screens due to its ability to ignite fast-spreading fires and generate thick smoke that can cover large areas for approximately seven minutes. This substance is typically colorless, white, or yellow, and emits a garlic-like odor. White phosphorus munitions can be dispersed through artillery shells, bombs, rockets, or grenades, with air bursting being particularly concerning when used in populated urban areas. In such cases, it can cause extensive harm to civilians and infrastructure, burning down houses and causing severe damage. White phosphorus bombs, by its definition, may sound like a nightmare. What specific effects does white phosphorus bombs have on humans? And how dangerous can it be? White phosphorus bombs have been a part of the arsenal of numerous armies for decades. However, when these munitions are used against civilians, the consequences can be devastating. Upon contact, it can cause thermal and chemical burns, penetrating down to the bone, entering the bloodstream, and leading to metabolic disorders and organ failure. Even dressed wounds can reignite upon exposure to oxygen, and even minor burns can be fatal, resulting in long-term suffering and trauma. Furthermore, the fumes released in white phosphorus attacks lead to eye injuries, severe irritation, heightened light sensitivity, and a range of health issues, including facial paralysis, seizures, and life-threatening heart irregularities. Even worse, fires ignited by phosphorus bombs cannot be extinguished with water and require smothering methods like sand. What makes these attacks particularly cruel is the combination of white phosphorus and rubber in the bombs, which adheres relentlessly to the victim's skin. Attempting to remove burning spots worsens the situation as the gelatinous mixture clings to the skin, making it even harder to stop. Moreover, any white phosphorus that remains embedded in the body can reignite upon re-exposure to air, causing excruciatingly painful burns. Typically, white phosphorus produces third-degree burns, sometimes extending to the bone. Survivors of such attacks often face a lifetime of severe impairments, including damage to the liver, heart, or kidneys. 
the potential harm from white phosphorus munitions can be minimized or eliminated when used under specific conditions, but intentional misuse can lead to significant harm. As a result, the use of white phosphorus munitions, especially in civilian areas, has raised serious ethical and humanitarian concerns. Given its extreme dangers, the one can't help but wonder. Where have white phosphorus bombs been reportedly deployed so far, and what the law says about it? Israel's deployment of white phosphorus bombs in Gaza has raised significant controversy. Human Rights Watch, or HRW, accused Israel of using white phosphorus munitions in its military operations in Gaza and Lebanon, citing verified videos and witness accounts from October 10th and 11. Israel's military intensely denied these allegations, branding them as unequivocally false. However, this controversial practice is not new for Israel. Back in 2009, HRW reported Israel's extensive use of white phosphorus munitions during Operation Cast Lead in Gaza. At this time, Israel initially claimed they were for target marking and later denied its use altogether. However, despite these conflicting statements, the 2009 HRW report alleged that Israel repeatedly used white phosphorus munitions over populated areas causing civilian casualties and structural damage. Russia's involvement in Ukraine has also raised concerns about white phosphorus bomb usage. Ukrainian reports allege that Russian forces have deployed such munitions on several occasions in different regions of Ukraine. In one instance, Russia was accused of using phosphorus bombs on Snake Island. And Ukraine reported similar usage in Mariupol. While the use of white phosphorus bombs is restricted but not illegal under international law, it's not permitted in civilian areas. The authenticity of these claims cannot be definitively confirmed or disproved at this stage, but there are images and videos purportedly showing the use of these munitions. For instance, a video tweeted by Igor Ponochovny in March 2022 reportedly shows a phosphorus bomb exploding, suggesting that Russian troops may have indeed used the bombs in eastern Ukraine. After all, understanding the devastating effects of white phosphorus bombs is crucial in addressing the ongoing debate surrounding their use. What do you think of white phosphorus bombs deployment? Should it be legally banned or otherwise? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment. Thanks for watching.